the side volley. One of the most useful but also most difficult techniques to learn as a goalkeeper. Many professional goalkeepers use this technique. When performed correctly, it can be a great asset to the team to switch up the play quickly and put an attacker in a scoring position. In this video, I'll be showing you guys some tips and tricks that have helped me over the years to develop my side volley technique. So one of the first things I want to talk to you guys about is mobility and stretching. The side volley being a technique that does ask a lot of your body, being mobile and being flexible helps with that. Before we do any side volleys, to do some stretching, warm up and get our body ready to practice. First thing I want you guys to note is that technique is different than power and this is something that has held me back and held my development back as a young goalkeeper. So if you're a young goalkeeper or you know what, if you're just a goalkeeper in general and you're struggling with the technique, don't think about getting power, don't think about distance, focus on the technique and in my opinion that's with everything. Technique is far more important than power. Once you perfect the technique then the power will follow. So focus on the technique, power will follow. Technique first, power second. Let's talk through the technique a bit. So first things first, you wanna be dropping the ball with your opposite hand. I'm right-legged, so I'll be dropping it with my left. Same goes, if you're left-footed, you're gonna be dropping it with your right hand. Your planting foot, which is gonna be your opposite foot of where you're gonna be hitting it, in my case, my left foot will be my planting foot, where I'm gonna plant it towards my target. I do two steps of run-up, and I plant my left foot down, and I'm kinda of diagonal towards you guys already, so my shoulder is gonna be facing you. I'm gonna start, leaning my body to the left and that's when my leg comes up yeah you lean your body far enough to the left so you can get your leg up high enough let's talk about where we're going to strike the ball we're going to want to be striking the ball with the laces of the boot right there this is basically how we're going to be hitting the ball like this boom we want to keep the side volleys as low as possible we want them tight we want them powerful so the left wing or the right wing can take a good touch and keep it going so what are we thinking about here? We've got the ball in our opposite hand. We've got our left foot, or well, our planting foot, facing the target. You start leaning the opposite side, and you're gonna wanna strike the ball at waist height, okay? We know the basics of the technique. It's time to do some practice. First, we're gonna kick a few balls into the goal so we don't have to go and get them. Then we'll set up a few targets and get to work that way. Once you're getting consistently good hits into the goal, you can start to move back a bit. But remember the technique. Keep your ball in your opposite hand, put your planting foot facing the target, use your body as a counterweight, and strike the center of the ball at waist height. And remember the golden rule. Technique first, power will follow. And take your time with these. Don't be too quick. I'm someone that has no patience at all, so... I want to do everything fast and fast and fast, but if you do these too fast, you're not going to get the technique right, especially in match situations. If you do collect a ball, take your time, breathe for a second, and make sure you get the technique right. If you rush it, it's going to go wrong, okay? So take your time, breathe, and then hit it, okay? Technique is key, power will follow. And practice, guys. Listen to me, practice is everything. This is not a technique that you'll learn to do within a couple of days, a couple of weeks, or even a couple of months. This is something that takes years of practice to get better and better at. So you need to put in the work, you need to put in the hours, and that'll help. What might help you guys out if you have them, grab a big cone, just to practice, a cone that's like this high, put the ball on top and try and strike it. This will kind of get you to feel what it's like to get your leg up that high and get a feel for it. This way you don't have to drop it yourself, yeah? I don't have one of them at the moment, so I can't, unfortunately. But we have a pitch, we have enough footballs, so let's get into some drills. All right, so we got a goal over there in the distance. Now we're gonna do a couple side volleys, and this is just to get some target practice in. Remember guys, it's all about repetition. Focus on the technique, don't go for power, because when your technique is good, power will follow. So this is also just to emulate kind of a game situation where you have the ball as a goalkeeper and you want to put it out to your right winger. If you do it perfectly, you want it to go with a bit of a curve behind the defender or behind the midfielder. Look 
crossbar hit. It was a good hit, but it went too high. We want more of a, a directional hit, keep it lower. Because if it skies, the defense has more time to get onto it, right? So we'll keep it a bit lower now. Yeah, that's a better hit. Yeah, that's the one. Sometimes the ball has too much backspin and you sky it. And this all comes down to two things, timing and connection. I want to hit dead center because that's going to influence the trajectory of it, right? And we want it to go straight, we want it to go fast. So if you hit it too low, it's just going to be a sky ball and no one likes that. Let's do another practice round. If you are enjoying the video guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It does help me out. And hopefully you guys learned the technique because that is key, right? Technique is key. Power will follow. This is where I timed it wrong. I hit it underneath the ball. My timing was off, so that's when it skied. I want to hit it dead center. That's the one, that's the one. All about practice and repetition, guys. Keep practicing, keep practicing, and you'll get better over time. All right, so that was it for the side volley technique. I hope you guys did learn a little something. It's all about repetition, guys. Focus on the technique and practice, 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 and I'm sure you'll get better at it. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.